the second smartest thing anyone ever said is I don't know. Hello, Emmett Ryan from Ball in Europe here. And, uh, yeah, dramatic twist that wasn't expected, although in fairness, the original video wasn't expected either. So we're going to talk about the surprising updates in the apparent Tessa Ned Zalgirish London Lions situation, where Hudson Weir, who are managing the insolvency of London Lions, have said, not so fast, my friend. Before we get into the crux of the video, uh, just a please, a quick reminder, if you could all could subscribe, that would be immense. We just need to get that up 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 great reaction to the first video thank you all who watched that and now i'm not sure if any of that first video is accurate but it's important to be clear on that front although to be honest none of it was dishonest which is also odd definitely wasn't dishonest in fact i can say with certainty which is what makes this so so weird so let's get to it So, for those of you who haven't seen the other video, please give it a watch. It's actually one of my more fun ones I've done of recent times, I must say. Uh, but essentially, it is what it says. Zalgirish and Tessonet uh, and a bunch of other people involved, but essentially all things which Tom Ackman, who is a big shareholder in Zalgirish and the Zalgirish group, and obviously Tessonet, and is the main, one of the main people behind NordVPN, which you see ads for all over the internet. We were told that they had taken ownership, essentially, of the London Lions. Testanet would technically be owning Zalgirish through some sort of th Zalgirish group, sorry, not Zalgirish the basketball club. That's complicated in its own right. Was providing a three month loan of some kind, uh, which was really to facilitate the ownership takeover from what it read like in terms of the floating charge, or sorry, the control takeover in terms of the floating charge. And then, uh, and that Zalgirish, the club we all know and watch in EuroLeague, uh, would be taking charge. And that was seven days ago in terms of when it all broke and then this morning or this afternoon although it was this morning when it came out this afternoon when i saw it um the administrators for uh, london lions you know because they've gone into administration said uh, what are you talking about so the report here is from city am and it was updated uh, earlier on so i'm just literally going to say what was said here so hazib how ladder and Nimish Patel, who are from the insolvency practitioner Hudson Weir, uh, have shot down the claims, is how, they, how it's phrased in City MPs, and these quotes are from How Ladder. I don't know where the report came from, get back to that, but it's not true, we haven't sold the business. Very important word, that. We've set a deadline of Friday at noon for bids for the trading assets of London Lines. Very important detail, that. We are expecting three offers, two have come in, and we are expecting one more. All I can say is the only people who can sell, again a very important word, the business are myself and Nimish and we haven't sold it yet. Uh, my apologies to both Mr. Howlader and Mr. Patel if I have mispronounced either of their names. Genuinely was trying there, but my apologies just in case I was. So the words that stand out here, which you may have noticed me saying, so I don't know where the report came from. Well, it's from a company's house document is where the report came from. Uh, I obviously tweeted out first having read the document uh, and it was pretty clear what was going on. Then about an hour or two later, Zalgirish came out with their statement, which flat out said it was taking ownership. So that's where the report came from. Zalgirish essentially said it, uh, said what was happening. So the report came from Zalgirish that all of this was happening uh, and certainly wouldn't have gone out or at least not gone out without anything coming out since without Tessonet being cool with that. Uh, so we'll get on to the other ones. We haven't sold the business. Now, I very deliberately have not used the word buy in my previous video or my comments up to now. Taking ownership doesn't necessarily actually buying because, of course, the nature of the asset uh, is a matter so uh, how ladder is the one using the word sold here or at least that's how he's being quoted uh, and again um the trading assets uh, which is essentially what that floating charge in the original document said they all the assets of london lines so the trading assets are included in that uh the bids aren't meant to come into that until friday and the two have come in which is quite interesting uh and we're expecting one more none of the bidders are named that's extremely normal and how ladder and patel as well i should add are doing the correct thing by not naming who any of the parties are that is extremely above board and the correct way to do things uh so that's very good 
and uh, obviously the journalists will like to find this out and it's totally fine if we find it out ourselves independently and publish it being told who they are is the bad thing if that makes sense so that's where we come into that so anyway uh, and again the only people who can sell it and again sell being a key word so they're clearly thinking of a sale factor here which is very very important terminology so where have we, where do we come to from here well earlier today i emailed uh the three most relevant parties i felt in this those being hudson weir which is mr howlader and mr patel's organization uh Zalgirish, given they are meant to be the ones that'll be running london lines when everything uh, goes down and tessanet uh who of course are you know effectively tied to Zalgirish in all of this and as you can probably guess i have yet to receive any reply hence the opening of i don't know but there's an awful lot uh, to hopefully get and I hope to get if I get a reply from any of them there will be a follow-up video frankly even if I don't purely because of that Friday deadline there probably will be a follow-up video anyway uh, because you know what we really need is an Irish man talking about the Lithuanian club's interest in a British team because I believe in bringing Europe together that's what Bolognese is about we bring Europe together uh, yeah, so uh, getting away from my silliness for a moment, uh, getting a bit more serious. So key things to watch out for here in terms of updates, or really the lack thereof. So again, no words yet from any of those. It, it's By the way, I'm recording this. It is 6.45 p.m. Irish time on Wednesday, uh, the same day the story came out, just for anyone looking for context. So building on from this anyway. Um, yeah, it gets stranger, frankly. It does get stranger. Because Zalgirish, after this, since their statement have posted nothing else about this uh from what i can see and i looked across social platforms tessonet don't appear to have a twitter by the way but i went to their linkedin and their most recent post is from six days ago but it's resharing zalgirish's linkedin post about taking charge of london lines so there have been no and uh, zalgirish have posted about lots of other things apart from that in case you're wondering london lines last post on twitter was in july uh, saying goodbye to josh sharma and so most of the relevant parties here haven't really been talking about it in any capacity at all in the last week. I sh before I forget, sorry, because given I was reading their report, I will name the author of this piece. My apologies to Frank Dallares, who, again, if I'm mispronouncing your name, I'm really sorry. Uh, I am getting better at these, but Frank of City AM, great reporting, uh, in all seriousness. That's some good work. Uh, journalists should always acknowledge the work of other journalists, by the way. That isn't a subtweet. Uh, I just, for it has happened to me before, but that's not any particular recent incident or anything like that. I just feel it's very good of us if we make sure we do that. Uh, so, yeah, it's just be nice and sound. So, what happens next? Well, at least we know there's a deadline, uh, Friday at noon. Um, we have questions, but we have a deadline. I am obviously going to keep an eye on my email all through Thursday uh, to see if any of Zalgarish, Tessonet, uh, or um, Hudson Weir get back to me. Uh, the, Hudson Weir's auto reply implied it'd probably be two days uh, before I get a reply, but it might, you know, might, uh, they might be interested in getting back sooner. Who knows? Uh, maybe they see this video and go, we should probably talk to that guy. He seems like he's onto something. Or maybe they go, that guy's an idiot. Let's just leave him stew. Whichever view they have, I completely respect it entirely, genuinely do. Uh, Zalgaris and Tessonet, though, come on, lads. Talk to me. Talk to me. Uh, the people want to hear about it like you can see there's enough traffic on this video to get that it's well above our normal traffic uh, so yeah yeah fantastic I say this video I really mean the other one because this one hasn't had its traffic yet so yeah it's all very confusing all unclear and um, we're not sure what's going to happen next so I suppose the important thing for me to do is to be blatantly self-serving for a few seconds and that is check out our merch the link is below it's on Redbubble and of course there is my book which has been around for a long time and also if you haven't already please subscribe i will be following this as much as humanly possible today was not meant to be about basketball for me by the way i was going to be doing some uh, lovely small business writing in the morning which i succeeded in and uh, i found out about all this during that and then i was going to watch poland versus usa in the men's volleyball at the olympics which i did and Poland won. My flatmate's Polish and I was delighted for her. Uh, great, great day for the apartment here. So yeah, uh, this was an interesting thing that I didn't expect to happen. But like I said, if you haven't, show this to your friends, tell your friends, watch the other video. And yeah, thank you all for tuning in and uh, subscribe. Love you later.